It's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> it's locked. You hear it? What's that? It could be money. Ooh. I don't know. We're going to have to open it up. You know how to open one of these? I don't. What? What good are you? Let you guys know and oh, oh oh man look at that look at that hello everybody how we doing today we're back here and i got magic mike with me today and uh we're back here in loudonville and uh look at it. it's raining raining i guess almost slowing sleeting them i gotta grab the screwdriver to open this lock is tough 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 to open I just remembered from before. Alright. So. Bring out the doors, bro. So, see this? I'm not supposed to do that. What I knew was broken, I bought the unit. Still calling in. Come on inside. And, uh, whew, we're out of the rain at least. So, we gotta load up this giant toolbox over here. Come on in, Mikey. Watch your floor here. Come on in, step on in. So, I don't even know what this stuff is. Some kind of. Yeah, let's see one that's open. A magnet and wire. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's got to be worth some money. I'm not, there's a bunch of them. They're all brand new. Look at this. So, cable company, Orange, California. You know, it's got to be old, too. So, that's a good start. There's a bunch of those rolls there. I got the pool auction coming up. I see a mouse nest in there. This whole thing's full of nail it. Nail it. And, uh, I don't know what this is. Seam filler kit. It's old. And it's in there. Look at it. Never used. All different colors. Probably garbage, unfortunately, now. And there's a mouse nest here. Hopefully, no mice. That's crown. When you buy storage units. You can always find mice. It's part of the job. And uh, my buddy the other day found a unit and there was rats. So you don't want to find rats. Look at that. Milwaukee Magnum right there. That's money. Milwaukee, good name. Craftsman. Got a little stroll saw there. Not worth a lot, but saber saw. The Milwaukee, that's worth more. Once again, I only pay like $50, $60 for this unit, so not bad. And once again, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. We've got so many great videos, awesome stuff. And man, this unit was posted, I think, what, Saturday or Sunday? I don't know. Take a look, though. Or maybe it was Friday. Friday. It was posted Friday. So last Friday, take a look, man. We found gold. We found a gun. Found all kind of cool stuff, so you just never know what you're going to find. But take a look. Let's go in here. Oh! Uh-oh, more mouse nuts. That's an old box, but you know what I like? Old stuff. Because that means that there's old stuff in here, there's more old stuff in here. I found that one, his class ring was 1946, his military stuff. Oh. So this is actually a Craftsman toolbox? Oh, no, it's not. What is it? I thought it was Craftsman. Hollowell. So Hollowell, pretty good name, I bet. I like how it has the feet on here. And man, you got all kinds of stuff to go through. Keep looking. I know all this stuff over here we haven't gone through, so we'll take a look real quick, see what we can find. All right, we're gonna move in a little bit here. One thing, there's tons of this wire in here, and even if I can't sell it, I can scrap it. So I'll make some money. I'm not into the scrap business, but part of the uh, or byproduct of what I do is scrap. So it's all kind of wire down here. 
I know we went through the desk. Let's take a look at this box up here. I'm going to move these coats out of the way. I'm use this right here, this blower motor. This little base. What the heck was... Ultra Violet Air Purifier? What the heck is that? Whoa! Take a look, dude. Oh, <laughs> well, you can talk, don't worry. Okay. If you'd like to talk. <laughs> Mike, this is his first day, first time, first everything. I don't think he's ever, ever been in a storage unit. Nope, first time. Oh, this is a 10 by 20 Mammoth. So, but man, look at that. That's got to be worth money. It's got to be worth money. Right. I'm going to use it for my house, purify the air. Today. All right. What else? Let's see what else is in the box. That's interesting. Hey, come on closer. I need that light too. Ooh, ooh, oh. First I thought it was a jewelry box or something, but this is a old standing. You put the sandpaper on there. Look at these, look at, oh, baseball card. A, base, a baseball. Dominique Wilkins, Robert Parrish, Larry Bird. Uh-oh. Scotty Pippen, you know we got MJ. Brad Doherty, Cleveland Classic there. Oh man, Joe Dumars, Isaiah Thomas. Tim Hardaway, oh, Akeem, you know, you know Jordan's got to be in here, you got everybody in there, David Robinson, oh man, who knows, looks like the dream team right here, Charles Barkley, Larry Bird, Magic, David, John, oh man, so now we're finding some collectibles, who knows what else we're going to find, we got some Atrex in here, by the way, Magic Mike over here, he's a, a guitar master. <laughs> so, ooh, look at this. A little lock. And it has the package, so the combination price still there. That's good. So, A-Tracks, we sell them. They don't go for tons of money. Ooh, more cards. Yeah. Come on. I'll have to go through these, but I know... I, I There's another... Sky. There he is! There it is! Michael Jordan! So we all know Jordan, love him and hate him, whatever. There's the card right there. Fortunately, these are 1992. He's I played many years at that point, but still, store Jordan card. And then who knows what else? I see more cards. All right, but there's tons of A-Tracks in here. Let's see if there's any more cards mixed in with the A-Tracks. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Look it. It's loaded in there. Whole bags is full of cards. So, no rhyme or reason. Storage unit, typical. And there's, look at, oh, one train track. There's a train track that might mean there's trains in here. So, we'll have to see. The rest looks like eight tracks and one train track. So, we'll find something good, hopefully. We got all the stuff to go through. Well, let's go right to the snow real quick. Before you go. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. That's old there. And then look at this. Looks like all Winnie the Pooh collectibles. Tigger. I, we found other Winnie the Pooh stuff. Oh, I was hoping some jewelry in there. Winnie the Pooh. Someone was happy I sang the Winnie the Pooh song. I'm sure there's a lot of people that weren't happy, I think, the Winnie the Pooh song. But hey, that's the way life goes. So. Oh, Tweety Bird. Oh, I saw the little pretty cat. Yeah. Look at this, Winnie the Pooh slipper socks. Aww. Winnie the Pooh lunchbox. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Alright, work our way down here. What the? Well, you know that name right there. Bosh. Good name. This looks like an undercut saw. You know undercut saws? No. No? No. So, if you're putting tile in a house or something like that, you have a door jam or door frame, you use the undercut saw, you cut it out, and you make a little notch underneath it, take that wood out this way, you can put the tile and stuff underneath it. Ah, uh, makes sense. That's called an undercut saw. And hopefully that's the right one, because if not, I'm sure everyone out there will be telling me, Rob, you're wrong. So look at this, more wire. Light bulb, a lamp, a 
And then this box right here, take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Plaster of Paris. Not too exciting. <laughs> Hopefully it's not asbestos in this plaster of Paris. I'm joking. That's an old coffee can. Ooh, that's interesting. Now that's interesting. It's an old Argus viewer, but... Oh, the View Master, man. And that's an old one. Nice. That's a... Wow! Oh! I wish you guys could see what I could see. <laughs> this is absolutely nothing right now, but... I think there's a slide in See what's in here. So this is a very interesting. Oh look at look at. I saw old look at old marbles down there. See them? Oh yeah, there's a couple of them in there. So I mean, why you got old marbles in with screws, nuts, bolts? Who knows? There's one just out. Oh, there's more down there. Uh oh, I oh now they're bouncing. I'm losing my marbles, people. Obviously, I bought the storage unit out in Loudonville. But this is what I was looking Look at It's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. You hear it? What's that? It could be money. Ooh. I don't know. We're going to have to open it up. You know how to open one of these? I don't. What? What good are you? Oh, I'll have to teach you. With a hammer? No. This is one of the easiest things to open. But we're gonna out we'll get ready to show Magic Mike how to open this in a minute. We gotta go through some more stuff, but we're gonna hit the video real quick, move a few things out of our way. Because when we open that up, you know, we'll get this full box of stuff out of the way and start working our way back. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Alright everybody. We we're just about to start loading up and start raining the harder, so we're gonna go through some more items. Before we open this lock box, let's see what else we can find. But man, it was an oh, interesting box there. An old Viewmaster marble lock box. Let's see what's over here. Or this pull box, it's seen better days. It's all dense. Oh, there's definitely tools in there. Oh, nice. And then toolbox, you always got to look, especially with this guy. Who knows where you're going to find in the toolbox. This is, but, you know, a lot of times you'll find pocket knives. And this guy was an older guy, so you might find some, oh, 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 what did I, look, I just say? Look at that, little pocket knife right there. This one's made in China, China, not too great, but hey. Sometimes I found some really good pocket knives. You find in the box, so let's see what's inside this. Look at this brand new Howard and Fog Lights. Oh, no way! No way! Take a look, 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 look. What do you see? What's that? Right here. I do not know. You know what that is? Nope. Can you read here? Ruger. What's a Ruger? Oh, it's a gun. That's a gun. So, there's a gun box. I don't know. We found one gun earlier, a little tiny 22. So, hopefully. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of heavy. Let's see. Oh! Uh, I just got trimmed. Uh, Nail trim. But you know what? The box is still worth money. That's a vintage old Ruger box, and if you got this gun right here, 22 caliber revolver, you want to have that box. But that's a good sign because you think that could fit in that? <laughs> you think that could fit in that? I do. All right, let's see what else is over here. Magic Mike. Look at that. U.S. mail zip code numbers. That's an old little piece there. 1970, 71, 72. This probably came out in 69. Ooh, so I like old paper. Never know what you're gonna find. Let's 
can if it looks nothing. It's a great conversation. A reader's guide to great books of the Western world. Excellent. Oh, look at this. Old manuals here. Probably half the tools we'll find. And this uni probably has the manuals right here for. So who knows? I mean, this thing's just loaded. Look at your Zenith Color TV. And these old manuals, some people collect them, especially if you have, if you're in the old TVs and things like that. So who knows? I mean, this thing's loaded, though. There's everything from appliances, the tools, the... Look at that. There's the old machinist handbook. Machine, look at this thing. All kind of stuff. There's some more old books. Ooh. We got some sterling, hopefully. Uh, EPMS. That means electric plate, not much money. <laughs> but look at them. What's this? What's this? Uh, I think it's silver plate, too. Man. Hope we find some sterling silver. We already found some before. No, it says something plate. Then we got all these old masonry books, carpeting books. Woo! Look at this old air conditioning guy. And where's this from? I didn't even know they had air conditioners this long ago. Let's see what year this is. It's got to be old. I can just tell how the book's made. I hate going with books with gloves on here. Right, we'll see one more page, see if I can find it. 1960 edition. That was what, 60 years ago? Yep. 60 years ago, but man, is this in here. Let's hope. Let's pray. Let's do it, baby, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows what we're going to find. So, man, this whole box. Take a look over here. Oh. Oh, man. Coil clean for air conditioning. So obviously this guy was in the air conditioning thing. This whole thing looks like it's full. Full. Get, get, get in here. Take a look down in that box. Looks like it's full and full of books. I see if there's anything else but books in there, but it feels like books and folders. And... Oh, what's that? It's just a glass piggy bank that's broke. They already took the money out. This thing's cool though. 200 electronic projects. Alright, let's sign it back in here. Let's see. Sign it down low. I need it in there. Oh. What's that? Oh. Alright. It, it doesn't feel like checks and stuff. Let's hope. I've seen people put all kinds of good stuff in these. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about right there. Let's see what else is in there. I like the thing on top. So this is just kind of an old wood pencil. Nothing too spectacular. Keys to some kind of card, some kind of old Ford. But man, that right there on top, that's like an old knife. Oh, look at that. That's an old timer. Oh, the tip's broken off. That takes the value down. That's a good company. Nice vintage knife, though. You know, put an old timer out there or sharpen the back up and put a new tip on it. It's got the original leather holster. So that's cool. Man, now he's like, what else is in here? <laughs> I need that knife. Shine it down there. 
Oh. Oh. Alright. See where this one is. Oh, it's just a little pen flashlight car set thing. Kind of cool. Alright. Keep pulling out charger. Man, this box is super heavy. I would move it. Lots of paper, but obviously they put other stuff in there. Oh, uh, breaker breaker! I think we found some good stuff in this box. So. Uh, let's see. Man, it feels like all books down this way. So I'm gonna go back to the money side. See if there's anything else over here I can find. Oh. Look at this. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh books at $40 value. Yes, that's right. That's okay. <laughs> For you, it's alright today. That's alright, Eeyore. Oh, look it. You play the guitar. Here's some books. Alright. You probably be on these. But oh, man, we'll find these. Maybe there's a. Maybe there's an instrument in here. Hey. Let's see. Come on. Bring me the light. Oh, this is interesting shelf. Oh, I didn't notice there was a shelf here. You got some Bibles and stuff here. There's something underneath the shelf. Oh, there's that box. Oh. I don't want to get in here now because I found that knife in here. That's about it. That's about it. Bummer. We're gonna keep going. Now this huge box down here. Take a look at the label. And uh, made in the USA. Let's see. Is there anything else over here? Was this a famous supply again? I don't know. We'll see. We have to try to get this box down. We have to move that box. And uh, should I teach them how to get into the lockbox, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, All right. that's good. We'll stop the video and we'll get ready and we're going to open that lockbox up. And there might be more surprises in store. Gentlemen, the lockbox has something in it. And in that field, how to open one of these is the easiest thing. you got to slam it down on the corner. Okay? So we're going to try slamming on that corner here. I just don't want to... That was easy. Woo! Well, we were definitely right on one thing. There's money in here, but there's not. Well, look at this. These are all for half dollars. So, let's see what we got here. I find some keys in here. What's the keys for? Hopefully it's not for this thing. <laughs> There's more keys. You find keys for everything. I seen the money that fell out. I want to make sure we don't lose any. Okay, let's get up here. That's, this is what's in the lockbox, ladies and gentlemen. First, we found Mustang, and those are Mustang Ford keys, so that's possible. Is there a Mustang parked out there? Let's go test them all out. All right, here's the money. Look at this. So, we got half dollars and dollars. Question is, any of them silver? I don't see any appear to be. No, no, no. They don't appear to be silver. But, now they stopped making half dollars. Because in 1964, they took us off, and that's when the last year was silver coins. But half dollars and dollars were continued to be 40% silver until 1970. But these are all past 1970. 72 is our oldest one in here. But still, you have the money. That's the money. And we got, we could roll half dollars up. We found more of them. And we found Mustang keys, so who knows? But that's the lockbox. Oh, man. Let's take a look over here.
Look at this. These are probably actually worth money. These are old wipe offs, but look at they're like colored ones and look how fat they are. I wonder these might go into signs or something. Mm-hmm. You can talk, man, don't be afraid. <laughs> they won't find you just because you talk. These look like Christmas lights. Oh. Of course, I thought that was a silver candlestick or something. More light bulbs. <laughs> More light bulbs. Oh, no way. Look at this. Right on top. Trains. Right there. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. That's an engine little one right there. Diesel switcher Santa Fe. That could be a $20, $30 piece right there. There's some cars. More cars. I got the boxes with them. Here's the power pack. Oh, man. Looks like we got a whole little train set in here. Track. Nice. Oh, cool. Man, I better not show this to my son. He'll want it. <laughs> You guys thought Chashi didn't talk, huh? Man, Magic Mike, he don't say a word, man. It's hard to even squeeze something out of him. <laughs> Get a little laughter. Our Charles is tough, but... So this, this is a piece of a train track. And people are like, why would the people have these? They actually use them as an anvil. So that's why people take these, and so if you're doing metal work and stuff, you can pound things out on that. All right, let's see what else on this work. We got a bunch of wipe offs here. All kind of metal. Look at these old hinges right there. Those are money. They even got a little patent date down there. 1911 is the last patent date. Those are antique right there. Cotter pins. Man, this guy's got some old stuff. Look at that. So then it's always like you want to pull out more, but oh, you're always afraid when the mice come for you. Don't worry, the mice like me. Now Mike, they probably don't like him so much. <laughs> I'll talk to the mice. He'll run and scream. <laughs> Alright, well, searching these drawers here. Which one did I just do? This one? Yeah, well, let's just... <laughs> look at that, look at that. We got tools, 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 for days, files, screwdrivers. Look at that. Some interesting looking tool, huh? Socket sets, plums. Then there's another socket. That's the mechanic. So this is loaded. Loaded with all kinds of tools. Clamps in here. So these are the ones you gotta dig through once again. You might find a pocket knife in here. Find some nice old tools with a nice clamp in there. See clamps, there's a bunch in there. This thing's loaded. Nest. We did see a mouse last time we were here. We haven't seen one yet. This is an interesting box. Oh, this is bad. Look at it. Brand new car, system band antenna. Got the band in there over here. Company thermal truck box. Oh, there's a little pipe plate or a little vice right here. I'm trying to see what it is. I don't know. It looks like you can hang it up, but look back. Ooh! How is that? Whatever it is. Look at that. We got a little 
toolbox there because look at this machine is black. Whoa! I'll move this out of the way. Let's get in here. Let's take a look. That's yeah, loaded right there. Full of screwdrivers, cutters, pliers. That's one box right there. One drawer of the box there. Not even sure what this is for. Top of my head. It looks like some kind of puller maybe or something. Hex wrench kit. Oh yeah. There it is. There's a little meter and stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These are the ones we're going to have to open it up. I have to pull the box out. Watch out. It's, like the ah! it's okay. We almost killed Magic Mike on his first day. It was good working with him while it lasted. We'll have to get Magic Mike too. Right? Nice. Old pair. Old pair of aviator glass. Nice little screwdriver uh, wrench set. Man, now we can probably open this drawer. So we got in here all kind of little tiny screwdrivers and look at this little tiny measuring. Wood and brass, you know it's old. And there it is, Stanley. So who knows? There's all kind of little pliers, tools in here, but the box itself is cool. And then everything in here, we'll make some lots out of it, sell it. But it's money, money, money. Tools always sell. And I don't know what this thing is. What do you think that is? Uh, thanks, Mike. I appreciate that insight. <laughs> I'm trying to read it. You give a better explanation. You not charge above well, maximum graduation. graduation. That's right. That's what I was just telling you. There we go. Dial a charge. Charging cylinder. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. Maybe refrigeration. Obviously, probably for ACs or something. But man, it's cool looking. It's cool looking. So we're gonna set this down right here and. Uh, we're going to have to try to get back into this stuff here. It's still raining pretty good, so we're trying to do our film before we get all wet and raining. We're going to take a look through some of this stuff here. Look at all this. I don't know what they are. What the? Some kind of spring. Something's wrapped in this. Oh, we lost that one. There's more, don't worry. Let's see if I can just read the side of the box. Uh, Chef Brown, Fairbanks, Morris. Some kind of seal. There's all kind of old boxes in here. We got lighting stuff. More lanes, so this guy definitely did electrical. You know, we got that welder here. Let's take a look at some of this stuff and jump over here. Yeah, this whole thing's still cold over here. Oh, there's some windows or something. Oh, there's some satellite TV. Oh man, oh, what the heck is in here? I think they're all just full brand new staples. This whole box is heavy as heck. Dangerous job, Mike. Some brand new can lighting. I'm trying to see what's in this box right here. Light up over here, my. This truck parts. And it looks like it might be truck parts. 
Look at all that drywall. I didn't see that back there. That's going to be another tap room. And then we got this ladder here. These ladders here. This ladder here. Some big pieces of wood. Let me see. Let's see this real quick. So, man. If we find anything else, I'll let you guys know. And Oh! Ho! Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, shit. Hold it light. Hold it Take a look. Hey. All right. It's like an acoustic. Looks to be like a 1915 Martin. <laughs> That's an acoustic. Uh, doesn't sound as good as my own. I don't see a name on there. We got, yeah. It looks might like be a magic mic guitar. You put your name on it. Hey everybody, did you know I can't play the guitar or sing? Now you know that's my song. Hope you liked it today. So remember, you never know what else we're gonna find. If you find anything else cool, we'll let you know. But man, keep watching. It's been awesome so far. Found that vintage gun box, found the guitar, and we expect to find that. We got tools, new items. Oh man, jewelry, all kind of stuff we found. I mean, this has been a great unit. And if we find anything else, we'll let you see it. And don't forget, you can bid on items www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. All right, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. All right. Made it this far back. We got some rims in here. No tire on them. One's aluminum. That's worth about. 10, 12 bucks, the metal one, a couple dollars, if you're lucky. This case here, not much. Let's see here. Look at this little jewelry box. Uh, not much there. Ooh, look at that. Crystal microphone made in Japan. That's an oldie buddy goodie. And they're jamming on the guitar. This little box. Oh, look at that. That's a cool little mic right there. So, huh. Interesting. Now we gotta see what's inside this big box underneath here. Here, magic mic. Hold this real quick. Oh! Oh man! It's full. heavy ones before but this one might take the cake. You guys ready? Hopefully something great in here. One, two. Oh man, it's packed. It's stacked and all that. Come in close. Light it up for them. So we got more wire. Look at that, that's an old time Dremel right there. Wannabe Dremel. That's what the Dremel got. My dad said one of those. Huh. Some kind of, uh, looks like some kind of gauge thermostat on there. So an instrument. Looks brand new, so it might be worth some money. Who knows what else is in here. We got tools in here. Look at this little box. looking girl. <laughs> Got the metal face and everything, man. So this thing is loaded up. Pneumatic buffer. Yeah, I don't even know. I 
I see all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's all cool. There's circular saw on there. Saws and it's loaded to the gills. So it's heavy, I can tell you that. It's gonna be fun to put that one on the truck. If I find anything else, we'll show you guys. But man, I just want to show you that box real quick. Woo! It's heavy. Some, some cool microphones though. 